Sergey Brin is the co-founder of Google. But for a long time, you wouldn't have found him at the company's offices in Mountain View, California. But things have changed, and Brin is now back helping Google's efforts in artificial intelligence. If you're a Google enthusiast, a tech lover, or simply someone excited about the future, keep an eye out for Sergey Brin's return. Google co-founder Sergey Brin returns to aid in AI development. This man has proven time and time again that he's a visionary, and we can't wait to see what he has up his sleeve next. Sergey Brin, the co-founder of Google, has returned to Mountain View and has regularly appeared at the company's headquarters. According to the Wall Street Journal, Brin, who stepped down from an executive role at Google in 2019, has been going to the workplace three to four days a week for months to work with researchers on Google's AI model Gemini. Brin and co-founder Larry Page both stepped down from leadership positions at Alphabet in December 2019, handing over power to the current CEO, Sundar Pichai. Brin and Page remain on the company's board of directors. Sergey Brin's life narrative begins on August 21, 1973 in Moscow, Russia. He migrated to the United States with his family when he was six years old in search of a better life and more chances. Brin's business drive took flight during his tenure at Stanford University. He met Larry Page in 1996, and the two started on a voyage that would permanently affect the direction of technology. Brin and Page developed Google in 1998, a search engine that could revolutionize how we access and traverse the immense expanse of the internet. Thanks to its simple yet effective algorithm, Google soon climbed to popularity, becoming the go-to search engine for millions worldwide. Brin's data mining and machine learning skill was critical in refining and increasing the search engine's capabilities. According to the Wall Street Journal, Sergey Brin attended several meetings with Google concerning artificial intelligence. However, his activity at the company has recently increased. Brin has reportedly been working with Google's researchers in charge of developing its upcoming AI model, Gemini, per sources close to the matter. Brin relinquished all active roles with Google and its parent company, Alphabet, four years ago in 2019. However, Alphabet's current CEO, Sundar Pichai, is excited and offering encouragement to Brin and his newfound involvement with the company and its AI research. With Brin's involvement, Google sees this as a way of improving its long-running efforts in creating an AI system that can act a little more human. For now, Brin has been playing catch-up as he looks to see what's been developed in the artificial intelligence space and its coding. Brin is again at the forefront of technical innovation in the modern day. His role in creating Google's Gemini AI system demonstrates his unwavering commitment to pushing limits and researching artificial intelligence's untapped possibilities. Gemini AI is a significant advancement in machine learning, allowing computers to understand and interact with human speech. During Google's I.O. event in 2023, the Gemini was revealed as a competitor to OpenAI's GPT-4 model. Gemini aims to be multimodal, encouraging advancements and efficiently connecting with tools and APIs. Google plans to offer Gemini in various sizes and capabilities, similar to their current model, Palm 2. Since OpenAI's ChatGPT launched on Microsoft's Bing search engine, Google has jumped into the AI competition. Google Bard has since been accessible as the corporation replies to its competitors. However, with such a rapid assault of AI chatbots and other generative AI capabilities, governments and other business participants have begun to think about the potential social hazards and strategies to mitigate them. As Google competes against rivals like OpenAI in the AI race, concerns about the societal implications of rapidly advancing chatbots and generative AI features have arisen. Governments and industry players are considering measures to manage and minimize these risks. Gemini AI uses deep learning and neural networks to handle massive volumes of data and derive relevant insights. The system can properly read and react to natural language questions by analyzing patterns and understanding context. This has far-reaching ramifications for various businesses, including customer service, virtual assistants, healthcare, and banking. 
the capacity to connect with robots in more human-like ways opens up limitless opportunities for efficiency and creativity. Sergey Brin was crucial in developing Gemini AI as a machine learning and data analysis expert. His deep understanding of the intricacies of artificial intelligence has helped shape the system into a powerful tool with the potential to transform how we interact with technology. Brin's innovative leadership and dedication to pushing boundaries were essential in bringing Gemini AI to fruition. Google's Gemini AI system is still in its early stages, but has enormous promise. As technology advances, we can expect it to be integrated into various Google goods and services, revolutionizing how we interact with technology daily. Gemini AI can improve our digital experiences in ways we could only imagine, from voice assistants and smart home gadgets to personalized search results. Gemini is the brainchild of Google's DeepMind, led by then-CEO Demis Hassabis. He expects Gemini to outperform known AI models such as ChatGPT in their game. Gemini is built to handle any data or job without the use of specialist models, and it's meant to generate original content that goes beyond the constraints of its training data. The development design for Gemini is based on Google's AlphaGo, an AI software that made news by defeating a world champion in the game Go in 2016. The strategies that propelled AlphaGo's success are being used in Gemini, which combines AlphaGo's problem-solving abilities with superior language processing capabilities. This also includes reinforcement learning, a process in which software attempts to execute a job iteratively and improves depending on performance feedback. While Gemini is still in its early phases of development, its anticipated features are already generating worldwide attention. The system is expected to cause substantial changes in the AI sector, particularly in the generative AI market, which is expected to be worth £80.16 billion by 2030. Nonetheless, Gemini's present capabilities are confined to text processing, as opposed to GPT-4, which can analyze pictures, audio, text, and video. Despite this limitation, Gemini wants to be more creative in its replies, breaking off from its training data to provide unexpected material. Google's previous AI projects, such as the chatbot Bard, saw several setbacks, including a factual inaccuracy in its premier demo that resulted in a large drop in parent firm Alphabet's market value. These difficulties are expected to increase the urgency to secure Gemini's successful launch. As a result, the launch of Gemini is expected to be rigorously organized to avoid similar blunders. It's a project worth keeping an eye on as its development advances. If Gemini is successful, it has the potential to transform the AI business and set new criteria for AI capabilities. However, until the final version is released and tested in real-world scenarios, whether it will surpass ChatGPT and other AI systems is unclear. Bryn and Larry, the other co-founder, met with executives to discuss AI products. It seems that Sergey has been making more appearances lately. The question is, why? It's clear that he's very excited about the current state of artificial intelligence. His 2018 shareholder letter was all about it. However, we don't know how his colleagues or Google's management feel about his increased presence. He may not be fully up to date on the technical aspects of AI, and he's not directly involved in coding or other technical concerns. When someone like Sergey returns and doesn't have an official function, but he's roaming around and still owns all these shares in the firm, and has this sort of overhanging presence, there will always be questions. Bryn's presence excites those who have worked with him. It's fascinating to be around a great computer scientist who co-founded one of the most important internet firms ever, and he's kind of a mascot for these AI researchers working on this massive project. He's there to encourage, to ask questions, and to assist people in overcoming obstacles. Sundar Pichai, the CEO, seemed to relish his presence as well. A future in which self-driving automobiles are the norm, artificial intelligence assists us in solving complicated challenges, and wearable technology smoothly integrates into our daily lives. Sergey Brin's comeback might pave the way for these remarkable advances. Sergey Brin's homecoming creates anticipation and curiosity about what's next. 
Will he make Google an even more dominant player in the technology industry? Will he expand into new ventures and industries? Only time will tell, my friends, but one thing is certain. Sergey Brin's comeback will herald even more enthralling discoveries and mind-blowing achievements. With that, today's video concludes. If you appreciate this exciting news update, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more tech-related stuff. Take care and stay intrigued until next time.